personally, I, I absolutely love that we started Wakelet in Manchester. Um, I mean, I was born and bred here, and it's one of my favorite cities in the whole world. It's so vibrant and there's so much energy. For people who've never been to Manchester before, it's very important that I give you just one tip. Always come prepared, because you're gonna need this in like the summer, the depth of summer, literally. You can alternate between your sunglasses and this bad boy right here. Always bring this and you'll be fine. There's three great universities all within walking distance of one another and there's over 100,000 students all in one place. I think it's like the biggest student population in the whole of Europe. And what that means for us is that there's just a lot of energy in the city. There's a lot going on. It's quite youthful. And when it comes to like sourcing, you know, talent and, and recruiting people, that's really, really good because there's a lot of people in the creative space as well. There always seems to be something being built in Manchester. Like there's always a lot going on. There's always a lot of bustle and a lot of energy. This building here, for example, which is right by our office, is going to be home to the new co-working space called WeWork. The, the building opposite us over here is Old Granada Studios and again it's another really really vibrant um, co-working space and the great thing about it is that there are so many different industries, so many different professionals in creative, in finance, in, in anything that you can think of all in this one building and if you think about it like our office is just across the road so it makes it really easy to just pop in and meet these guys whenever we want. The tech scene in Manchester is growing at an incredible rate, like you've seen at the buildings that are being put up. You can rest assured that most of the major buildings that are in construction right now are going to include a kind of cooperative working space which is really aimed at the tech community. We need to catch up a little bit when it comes to investment culture, but I think there's some amazing things happening in the city and it's, it's wonderful to be part of a community that all has this one unique vision which is to turn Manchester into this, you know, global powerhouse of tech and, and industry. So like for myself, one of the most exciting things about working with a platform like Wakelet is that you never quite know where the next audience or, or target market is going to come from. Um, a lot of times it happens like by accident almost. Like I know that you yeah. had the thing with the journalists. Yeah. So one day we uh, came into the office and noticed that a freelance journalist started using the platform, yeah. was saving all of his tweets, articles, podcasts and videos and making an e-portfolio um, of all of his best work to send to people he wants to write for. So uh, he tweeted about his, his profile and other people who are freelance journalists as well wanted to use Wake in the same way. Mm. So I started seeing a lot of a lot more journalists come in on the platform and mm. just sort of snowballed and mm. organically came to us. Yeah, it's, it's amazing like how that how that happens because even for myself like with the with the whole music thing um, you know again it was it was a similar thing we come in in the morning and somebody's created a, a hip-hop profile on Wakelet where they put every single major hip-hop artist in one place as profiles and then within those profiles they've added every single music video every single guest verse every single article or interview that that artist has ever done and then put it all into one place and that did amazing on reddit like we got so much traffic from it one of the effects that we could have never predicted was we've now got an artist called jj pierce who's a, a rapper really really good as well i'm I've like in love with his music um, and what he started doing is, is, is using Wakelet to collect and organize all of the stuff that he's ever done in his career all in one place, whether that's new music, music videos that he might have shot, collaborations with other musicians, interviews and features that he's had on different magazines. He can now kind of take control of all of that content and put it all in one place and tell his story that way instead of relying on people, you know, searching for him in, in, in Google or scrolling down Twitter to try and find information on him. So again, like that's that's you know another another sort of use case that when we started out, if you had told me like musicians are going to be using this to kind of you know send their profile off to publishers and record labels and things like that, I would have never thought. It's just something that just it's it's that serendipity that you can only get with a, a platform like Wakelet. Essentially, you just never know where where the next audience is coming from. It's amazing to see that one journalist initiative to create a portfolio and use Wakelet mm. has affected so many other people and benefited other people. Because mm -hmm. now you've got like thousands using using yeah. the platform, all from just one guy's decision. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and on top of that as well, I think it's beautiful how it opens up so many new industries for us to like explore. 
So, for example, we've just been to a, uh, a meeting with a, well, actually both a journalist and a music producer up in the uh, Old Granada studios. And it's, it's incredible to actually get first-hand feedback face-to-face -face with somebody who's, who's using the platform, who's in a particular industry, and then we can relay that information back onto the development team and try and like create a product that is not just great for everybody, mm. that, that that's really good for these few select industries as well. So what we're doing today? Marcus and I are on our way to visit XYZ Works, which is a new co-working space aimed at the tech and digital community right in the heart of Spinning Fields. Hi, I'm Naomi. I look after partnerships and engagement with Education for Wakelet. So I'd like to introduce you to Steve, who is the XYZ Works Community Manager. At the moment, uh, we're just at the point of opening. The idea behind this was to develop a co-working space that was more tech orientated than any other co-working space. So we've tried to take all the problems that we've had before with other co-working and I've experienced myself, and we've tried to get rid of those problems and make it a more smoother kind of system. And what we've also tried to do is speak to a lot of the large banks in the area and they're coming in and offering their services and mentorship to help out all these young and up and coming companies. I think co-working spaces are really important for startups because you get the sense of community and you learn from other startups. Um, you get opportunities to collaborate, connect with other people and that's one way of helping your startup grow really, really quickly. Had a good day in the office today, got a lot of work done, but now I'm excited because we're going to the Founders Insights event and one of our board members, Scott Fletcher, is uh, doing a, uh, it's like a fireside talk that he's doing, talk about investment in the Manchester tech scene. He's just sitting down now to have a bit of a chat about what's going on in the city. So it's pretty cool that we're part of this community of tech people, um, so yeah, let's see what's going on. It's about seeing that opportunity and then when you see it, believing it and doing it. If you ask the difference between me and my dad or even my granddad, my granddad was an amazing engineer and he had so many ideas and things that you could paint and, and, and whatever. And you look at it and he, was, he just sat, you know, he, he just had a job, retired, sat there, drank a couple of beers a night, smoked his pipe and that was him. But what an intelligent guy. The difference between me, I've got the same genetics, but I actually got on and did something with that. With that. So, the difference between people in this room who will make money or change the world or whatever your motivation is, is the people that do it and consistently go, do you know what, I don't care what anybody else is saying, I'm going to drive through all this negativity and get to the other side. That's the difference. People that take those steps is ultimately the ones that win. Wow, that's a really slow door. Okay guys, so that's it. The end of another day, another week, and another episode of the Wake Up Vlog. It's 7 p.m. There's still plenty of us left in the office, just getting some last minute work done. Um, if you like this video, then hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And if you'd like to see anything in any future episodes, then just let us know in the comments below. See you next week.